All right, all right. LDW MMA Seed is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. I'm going to try to keep my calm and composure in this video. I can't promise you guys anything. But uh, you guys, you, you see the title of the video, okay? This, this video is about the black female fighter, okay? Now, we're not going to be in my comment thread. We're not going to be leaving links to other videos. We're not doing that, okay? We're not going to, you know, start having, you know, conversation about other fights on this video. Okay, if, if I see any of that, the comments, they're being deleted. We're talking about the black female fighter in this video, and that's just the way that is. Um, you know, I want to first of all give a shout out to many of these women on the screen, okay? Many of them. Not all, but many of them. I want to give a shout. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start out with Marion Reno because Marion Reno, she's been following my channel since I was at about 400 subscribers, okay? Marion Reno been here for a long, long time. And, you know, her and her husband, Bad Boy Perez, they, they've been right there. Um, she supported me, you know, even when I was doing all kind of goofy stuff. Marion Ray No never, never left my channel. Okay, and I and I got a, a special place for Marion in my heart because she, she's she been, I mean, so just, she's been so right there. She's been so supportive. And I and I really got a lot of love for Marion Ray No, a lot of love. Um, you know, I want to give a shout out to Brianna Van Buren, you know, for definitely you know, allow me to interview her, um, and, you know, and Brianna Van Buren, you know, she want to come back and interview, Josette Cotton was the realest interview that I ever gave, you know, uh, Chantel Coates, uh, and even, uh, Sarge Eubanks allowed me to interview her back in the past, but I want to talk to just a black female fighter in general, okay, the LDBC stands for Lion's Den Boxing Community, it stands for that, uh, the LDMMAC stands for the Lions Den Mixed Martial Arts Community, and the LDWMMAC stands for the Lions Den Women's uh, Mixed Martial Arts Community. That's what these monikers, they stand for. And the thing of it is, is that we're here, we're here to actually help support you. I make videos, and, I, and I'll support any fighter, okay? But I am going to support my own, and, and I'm going to start using my platform more and more to start supporting my own. Okay, I am going to support everybody. Everybody's got a dream. I, you know, I will rock with anybody or interview anybody, but I am going to help elevate some of my sisters. I am going to do that. And some of you, though, it's you guys, some of y'all are a bit disappointed because, you know, the LDBC will reach out to y'all. You know, I'll, I'll reach out, we'll tell you, you know, look, this is what's going down. We're here. We're here to help you. Okay, we're here. We're here to help you, you know, put out content about you and do things. And some of y'all, you know, some of you, you react or some of you, you just don't get it. You don't get it that, you know, I have and I start looking at my analytics, you know, weekly. You know, I didn't know that I had like thousands, tens of thousands of video views weekly. And then in a month, I can get what, 300,000 video views in a month. And I thought that's a lot of people looking at my videos. And guys, and I got to tell you guys, most of the people who watch my videos, they're black. And, and I probably say, you know, Hispanic, probably. So. If I'm managing to get the black viewer to watch, okay, some of you ladies, you know, you have to think about it. You got to really legit think about it. Who's going to follow you the most? Who's going to push you? Who's going to put out video? Black content creators that, that follow MMA, they're going to try. They're going to put you out there. They're going to push you because we can relate to you. And it's not a, oh, I'm not going to push anybody else because y'all know on this channel, I push Shevchenko, I push Cyborg. I mean, I pushed a lot of different people, but I am going to support my own. And you ladies, y'all got to start seeing this, that you guys, when you guys miss interviews with us, when you guys just don't answer it, or, you know, in Sarge's case, you know, hey, you told me, hey, talk to your manager. And when your manager, when I reach out, your manager don't respond. You know, they don't respond to set up the interviews with black social media. It hurts you. It's not hurting me because I'm going to still do what I do anyway, but it hurts you. It's killing your brand because, you know, I'm thinking out of those 300,000 people that watch my videos a month, you know that probably 70% of those are black people. I mean, that's just what it is. And I even looked at my demographics. You know, I have a lot of people that watch me, you know, from the U.S., from Africa, okay, you know, from, from, from South America. So you got to think that most of my views are coming from those regions. So if you're, if you're black, if you're African-American, if you're a black woman, and if this is a black platform, and if you're on the platform, those people, they're going to follow you, okay? Some of them will follow you. They're going to get the people that watch the videos, the majority, they're majority black. And it's like, I don't know what it is. The light bulb don't click for some of y'all. The light bulb click for Marion Ray, no. You know? and, and I know 
that her thing is, you know, she she just support me because I'm really working hard to try to get this channel to do things. But the light bulb went off. She'll interview, and I don't mind supporting Marion right now because she's a real one. You know, Brianna Van Buren, you know, hey, you know, she, she interviewed. Well, because she interviewed, I'm just saying it, it's going to be better for her brand because I'm going to push her brand. I'm going to push her brand to the best of my ability. I'm going to push Josette Cotton's brand. When Josette have a fight, who's going to be pushing it? It's going to be me. I'm going to push it. You know, Shane Dobson, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, you know. We had that interview set up and, you know, you was like, nah. But see, the thing of it is, you didn't say no. You just say, well, coach, you know, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Hey, it, it's no big deal. But when you miss those interviews, you miss your brand being pushed forward. Don't think that you see the channel and it was 8,000 subs that we can't push. It's 8,000 subs, but there are a lot of blacks that watch this channel. And you got to understand, if, if we want to talk money and market and we want to talk about all this stuff, okay, well, we got to talk about it. Okay, who's going to support you? If you ever become a pay-per-view star, who's going to support you? It's going to be your own. It's going to be your own. And, and I want you all to understand that, you know, Brazilians, they're going to support uh, Brazilians. Mexicans, they're going to support Mexicans. Asians, they're going to support Asians. Prime example, Willie Zahn. Willie Zahn. That's a prime example. Do you know, man, when you look at the video, when she got the title shot, you know how many Asian people came to that video and they're legit, they, they're going to buy that fight? I didn't see a lot of other people, a lot of other races saying that they're going to buy the fight. I saw Brazilians because Jessica's Brazilian. I didn't see a lot of black people saying that they're going to buy that fight. I didn't see a lot of Mexicans saying they're going to buy that fight. I didn't see it. And there are thousands of comments in that comment thread. And I just went through looking to see, you know, well, how many people going to support? Willie Zhang is going to get support from her own. And some of you black female fighters, you guys, y'all got to understand that. You got to understand that the, this platform is here. This is one of the platforms, one out of many, that's going to push your brand, that we're going to talk about you week from week. But, you know, if some of you don't interact with the fans and if some of y'all don't interact with some of this YouTube black media, it's, it's really hard for me to justify, like, trying to just throw videos up, uh, you know, to try to really push your brand when you're not helping me push your brand. If you understand. Because there's no way that people like Brianna Van Buren and Sarge. These people man look. By the end of 2019. They need to have at least 300,000. You know uh, uh, Instagram and Twitter followers. They need to have that. They need to have it. But you know it's like I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in you Sarge. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because you know. You got a manager that okay. They're not responding back to messages. You told me go to my manager. You said hey talk to my manager. I did it. I talked to your manager. And it's kind of weird because we already had a rapport. We've already interviewed before. That that part kind of, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to help you push your brand. See, in that fight, when you had against Aspen Ladd, you know how many videos I, I would have put out there? I put out the post-fight analysis and I gave my honest opinion. I gave my view. I told you, hey, I thought you won. But see, I'm not going to go to back. I'm not going to go because we can't push your brand. You got to come on here and be seen by the people. See, Chantel Copes, Josette Cotton, Mari Raynaud, Brianna Van Buren, they, they wasn't afraid. They, they, they've been seen by the people. They've been seen by the people. Man, I've been pushing Mari hard for a long I've been pushing Mari for three years. I've been pushing her for three years. Three. Any injustice, anything that go on, any kind of BS, I've been pushing that for years. And it's played a small role in helping her brand. It's played a small role. I'm not saying like I'm the big, you know, uh, the delegating factor here, but I'm saying it's black media, black media. Okay, if you ever get to a pay per view card and you ever get to the point where you get to share pay per view points, they're not gonna give you any money if nobody's buying the fights. That's just what it is. You're here, okay? Your assets is black media. But a lot of you guys don't use black media to your advantage. Y'all don't do that. Y'all think that every other media outlet, you think that they're going to they're gonna drive your brand. They're not going to do it. They're going to put some videos up. And prime example, with you, Angela Hill, I'm, I'm just extremely disappointed. It's like all the dumb stuff you've been doing. And, and you know, <laughs> I got a video coming out. Guys, that video is going to be telling. It's going to be telling. I would have loved to push Angela over here. I would have loved to do it. 
I mean, I would have loved to do it. I would have loved to just really get in there and go to back for Angela Overkill Hill. But see, we don't we, we, we don't get a reason to. And see, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. If y'all don't believe that that Black Panther, she wanted to put the Black Panther, uh, Panther outfit on. If you guys want to sit here and believe that, you know, it's because of a Reebok thing and she couldn't put that on, y'all stupid. Well, if that's the case, then, you know, how was Roxanne Modafferi able to, you know, go ahead and push, what, Dragon Ball Z? She dressed up like a Super Saiyan. So she was able to dress up like a Super Saiyan, but Angela Overkill Hill couldn't dress up like the Black Panther. See, do y'all understand why black social media, do you guys understand that why we're needed to really start really getting and pushing some of these issues and defending some of these black women because they need it. They don't have anybody that's willing to step in the fire. I'll do it. The LDBC, we'll do it. LDMMAC and some of the LDWMMAC, they'll do it. We'll, we, we'll do it. We'll step in the fire. We'll step in the crossfire and start talking that good junk to help these. See, you don't get it. And in a few years, this channel is going to catch on. It is going to catch on. People are going to follow. More black people, they just don't know yet. They don't know about them. They're going to follow. And guess what's going to happen? When they start following, you'll have the opportunity to build your brand even more. See, right now, those of you that's interviewing, you, you, you're on a ground floor opportunity. You're on a ground floor opportunity. That, that's what it is. But y'all, you know, y'all got to know, when black social media, they reach out to you, you got to respond. You can't sit back and, and listen to, you know, I mean, listen to your manager who's sitting here telling you, well, don't, don't interview with them. Don't do that. Uh, no, nah, don't interview with these YouTubers. Don't do that. That's stupid. It's just stupid. Because you're cutting off the head of the person or people that want to help promote you. That want to help promote you. That want to help promote your brand. That want to see you as a black woman. You as a black woman excel in a sport that's new to us. And I just, I got to get y'all to understand that. To get you to excel in a sport that's new to us and our culture. We got lots of culture. We got lots of culture. And anybody trying to tell you that, oh, well, you know, coach is race baiting because I'm talking about my black culture. My black culture. I'm black. And I got culture. And I'm damn proud. And I want to help push the brand of a lot of you sisters. I want to push that brand. And I want to push it hard. I want to push it hard as I can. Because you guys deserve for all the hard work that you've been doing, every last one of y'all, every last one of y'all, whether I agree with some of the stuff you do or not, every last one of you black women, you deserve to have your brand pushed. But don't be so damn naive and don't be so arrogant. Some of you, don't be arrogant. When black social media reach out, get off your high horse. Jump on an interview for, 20, for, 20, uh, for 10 or 20 minutes. Jump on that interview. Because I'm going to tell you, the excitement level, and it may, the first couple of interviews may not do a whole lot of views, but you keep doing them and keep doing them and keep doing them. Guess what? It's going to grow. And I'll give y'all an example. Look, Sabina Mazo not even black, but Sabina will jump on here and do an interview. And the interviews are starting to pick up. I remember when I first interviewed Sabina Mazo, that, that, that video got about, what, 100 views? couple of more did like 120 100. now you know the video views when i do when i interview sabina mazo it's about three to four hundred and at most 500 but i know it's gonna grow because i'm helping sabina, sabina mazo don't care she don't mind me help build a branch she don't care martin ray no don't care they, they they want me to talk about them brianna van buren now she's like okay coach please please can i come back yes josette cotton don't care Chantel Coates, they don't care if I talk about their brand. You know why? Because if I reach out to any of those ladies, I just and if I say, hey, I want to do an interview with you, they're going to interview. They're going to do it. And even on an uh, a honorary mention, the, the war machine, Brittany Neem, yo, you know, amateur fighter, already like, yo, let's, let's, yo, I don't mind interviewing you, coach. I interview with you. Yeah. Some of you ladies, listen to this. I'm not trying to tear y'all down. Okay, because, you know, people done done that enough. And even with you, Angela Hill, I, I'm going a, I'm to a bag off sometimes. I'm going to bag off a little bit. I'm going to bag off a little bit of really trying to rip you apart. I'm going to say what I say, but I ain't going to go in. I ain't going to go in like I can. I do have a video that it's going gonna, it's gonna to open a lot of eyes. And hopefully, it's going to open your eyes too as well, Angela Hill. I hope that it will. Black social media, black YouTube, black YouTube MMA channels, it's for you. It's for you. It's for you to also have a voice. 
Come speak your mind. Talk that good PG-13 channel. It's for you. Take advantage of it. Don't act arrogant. I'm done.